refuse to believe some negative opinions of others about what you want. If someone tells you that you can't have this, you can't do this, what they really mean is they can't and they try to convince you to give up too. I've talked to someone recently about what I wanted in a woman and her first reaction was to try to convince me to settle for less than what I truly want in a partner. Maybe good intention, but bad advice. The moment she told me to choose someone less than what I know I am capable of achieving, I felt disempowered. I felt like there's no motivation to strive to become more, to be more. What is the point of living if there's no growth, right? It doesn't really matter whether I will achieve my goal or not, whether I will be with my dream woman or not. The most important is that I know it is possible. And isn't that we all want that? We all want to know that something is possible. It doesn't really matter whether you will achieve your ideal partner or not. But what truly matter is in the moment you feel empowered, you feel like there's a hope and that you would do whatever it takes to get there. It doesn't mean you will get there, but the belief and hope in the moment, that's what more important than anything else. But many times, average people, they only want to be quote unquote realistic and that they settle for less than what they want. They aim so low that even when they achieve their goals, they don't really mean much. So be very careful about limiting and negative beliefs from those around you. Ask yourself whether if you want this to be true or not. Because if you don't want it to be true, then don't fucking believe them. Be very intentional about what you allow into your mind. If you think that all hot and beautiful girls are very superficial, go digger, too much maintenance. Do you think that you'll attract hot girls if you have this negative belief about them? Fuck no, even though this may be true for a lot of them, refuse to believe anyway. Like attracts like. If you put out negative energy, you attract negative energy. And the same thing here. If you believe that hot girls are superficial and high menace, your brain then will find evidence to match your descriptions. However, the same is also true when you refuse to believe. If you decide to believe that not all beautiful women are bad and there are many good ones out there, even as I speak and decide to believe, I feel good internally and I see hope. Isn't that what we all want anyway? Hope. We don't really care how hard things get as long as we have hope. So decide to see what you want to see in spite of what others think. Remember, most people settle for less than what they want. They settle for mediocre life and they want others to settle like them. So when they tell you whatever that you can't really achieve, they really meant they can't achieve them, not you. You have to keep this in mind all the time. Choose what you want to believe, even the reality may be very different. For example, assume that you live in a very bad neighborhood. Normally, you would have a bad view about everything and everyone around you. But deep down, you don't want it to be this way. So you decide that the world is a great and kind place. Not only do you actually feel good internally, but you also actively start searching for that evidence. When you see something bad, you acknowledge it. But then, then you move on to searching for the evidence of the good. And the same thing is true on how you decide others view you. You can make an assumption that people often view you as a confident and attractive person. And you may tell yourself that, well, it's not always true. Although it's not always the case. 
It's better to assume this way and act accordingly. Think about this. How would you feel if you believe that women find you attractive, that people love talking to you, that people find you very confident, that people want to be around you? You will most likely act according to what others believe about yourself, right? You then feel good internally. And then when you feel good internally, it will reflect in the outside as well. You'll then start acting confident. However, the same is also true. When you believe that people don't like you, people don't see you as a high value person, people don't value you, people are here to take advantage of you. If you have these negative beliefs about yourself, what do you think you would act? You would then feel inferior about yourself. You would then don't really value yourself as much as compared when you believe that others see you as a high value person. You would then act timid, anxious, and almost worry about what others think of you. If you have a choice, which one would you rather choose? I know I want to choose the first one, which is when people think positive about me. Like I said, it's not always the case, but it doesn't matter. What really matters is what you decide to believe and act accordingly. To wrap up, be very selective and careful about what you want to believe. If you don't want it to be a reality, refuse to believe. Decide to choose what you want to see, not to completely ignore the other side of the coin, but to know that there are two sides and you decide to choose to see the good side through your own filter. Refuse to allow your mind to accept any negative belief. Choose to see the good in everything. And I guarantee you that you'll eventually fight them. Like people always say, what you seek, you will fight. So decide to seek the good. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this message and found something valuable. And if you did, appreciate your ratings and reviews. That would help this channel a lot. Remember that you are what you decide to believe about yourself. Nobody can tell you what you can't. You are the only one that decide what you can accomplish in your life. Not others people opinions. Until next time. Thank you.